Okay, so in question one, what we need to know uh, is the product rule of roots. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm just going to quickly go over this now as part of the video for 1A. So we're going to look at the product rule for roots. Of all kinds, square roots, cube roots, whatever. And it just says, look, if you have the root of a times b, that can be written as root a times root b. Why? I'll show you. If you had just, where well, we're just talking about square roots here for a minute, if you had the square root of 4 times 9, that can actually be written as root 4 times root 9. Okay? And we'll explore that now. What is 4 times 9? We'll, we'll prove this now. What's 4 times 9? 4 times 9 is 36. So if you multiply these two numbers inside and then take the root, what do you get? What's root 36? 6. Or you could take the root of each individual factor first. So like, what's the root of 4? It's 2. And that's times, what's the root of 9? Root 9 is 3. And what's 2 times 3? 6. So this proves it with square roots, but this product rule also holds for any root, like the third root, fourth root, fifth root, whatever. Okay. So for any root, it could be, and you can show this, you make up some numbers, you can prove it for the cube root as well. But in any case, that's the product rule for roots. So the first thing we're going to do is write this as root 4 times root of x squared. And then evaluate each root, and then we can keep going. And similarly with part b and c. So what's square root of 4? It's 2. And what's the square root of x squared? In other words, what that's asking there is... <coughs> You know, when you get root 4, you're asking what times itself gives 4. Well, the answer has to be 2 times 2 gives 4. And when you get the root of x squared, you're asking what times itself will give you x squared. You can tell me, what times itself gives x squared? Well, how about x? x times x gives x squared, right? So root x squared is x, so the answer is 2 times x. <coughs> 